Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Tian Shang, Lone Wolf Fists. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this tabletop RPG of superpowered martial arts in post-apocalypse, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the senses chart. The skill of the five senses, situational awareness and physical subtlety. When characters need to get information about their surroundings, move and hide, or notice minute details, they use this skill. So this is all about hiding, sneaking, detecting anything with the five senses, gathering details from your environment. Let's talk about some of the effects of the senses chart. When it comes to rank 0, you are at mortal level. Observe any obvious things with the five senses. Hide in a perfectly concealing spot, like behind a concrete wall or inside a chest. So these results are pretty mundane. Let's go up a bit. Rank 2 to 3. Pick mortal result. This is when you obtain a result between 20 to 39. Notice well hidden or extremely subtle details. You could uncover a spy's false identity by observing their body language or smell poison in cooked food. You could hide in a partially concealed spot, such as within sparse vegetation or a dim room with no furniture. What about rank 8 to 9? Titanic. Between the result of 80 to 99. Push past the membrane of senses to the truth that underlies them. See through solid objects with X-ray vision. See the layout and all inhabitants within a structure or complex by feeling the vibrations in its walls. Determine the exact chemical composition of anything via smell. Hide by walking behind light and thus becoming invisible, save for a faint blur of motion when you move. And these are just some of the extraordinary results. In the case of Major God, which is rank 14 or above, with a result of 140 or above, you can perceive the fabric of time and reality in great definition. You can perfectly perceive any place, no matter how concealed, in the entire world as though you were observing it directly. Now let's talk a bit about stealth. Another use of senses, of course, is hiding. Think of it as a strategic awareness of your surroundings. Again, the senses effect chart will tell you what kind of terrain your senses rank allows you to hide in. Being undetected is really only helpful though when you are somewhere your enemies don't want you to be. When you are holding still in a place that you are totally hidden in, just passively spying, everything plays out just like you weren't there. So long as you remain motionless and silent, you cannot be observed or attacked until detected by another character's senses action of equal or higher result. Not being seen is a burden to juggle carefully in a fluid and dangerous situation, of course. When it comes to seeing the future and hiding from fate, the heights of senses begin to boggle the mind. How exactly does one see the possible future? Seeing the possible future simply makes you impossible to surprise. You could even perhaps avoid fated or ominous outcomes. Let's talk about the Shadow War. Hiding in a fight carries huge advantages. Being able to strike a defenseless foe is awesome. Whenever you strike a foe from hiding, you gain advantage. This does unfortunately reveal your location. Avoiding the enemy is tremendously useful as well. There are two sides to the sustained senses action to hide. The concealment, yes, but also a powerful situational awareness. But what happens when you and your adversary are both hidden? Then a shadow war begins. This allows the participants that are hiding to battle one another with subtle weapons, while remaining concealed from others in the area. You can also fight unarmed if close enough. There are a few unique elements to this engagement. Combatants only sense and may therefore only attack Characters with an equal or lower ranked senses action hiding them. Combatants may keep their stealth only if they remain within appropriate cover. Characters may only use subtle weapons and unarmed strikes or reveal themselves. These may be creatively waived with the use of tactical infinity 
on a case-by-case -case basis as judged by the Game Master. We will talk more about combat in a future part of this review, and these are just some of the nuances. This concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about the hard chart. Senses in this tabletop RPG are amazing. They are not just about hiding in your environment and sensing your environment. They are also about perceiving the future, fate, and even having those incredible anime or video game battles where you have two ninja style of characters darting in and out from behind cover, attacking, hiding again. It's really exciting and fun. Thank you for watching this part of the review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you, and see you later!